CBSC Class 12 Practical Skills in Physics Experiment Number Three Semiconductor Devices 3.1 To draw the IV characteristic curve of a PN junction in forward bias and reverse bias. Aim To draw the IV characteristic curve of a PN junction in forward bias and reverse bias. Materials required: a PN junction diode. Battery or battery eliminator of 6 volt, a variable voltage power supply that is 0 to 12 volt, a millimeter of 0 to 200 ma, voltmeter of 0 to 3 volt, connecting wires, sandpaper, a one way key, a micrometer that is of 0 to 200 mu A. Procedure A graph between current y axis and potential at x axis shows the characteristic of a PN junction diode. For forward bias, assemble the circuit as shown in the circuit diagram for forward biasing. Find the range and least count of a meter and old meter. Close the key and give a small voltage to the circuit by turning the knob of the power supply gently. Note the old meter and a meter reading across the diode. Now increase the applied voltage in incremental steps of 0.1 volt. Record corresponding values for current. Plot the graph for forward voltage and forward current. For reverse bias, make connections as shown in the circuit diagram for reverse biasing. Reverse the setup for battery so that P side gets connected to negative terminal and N side gets connected to the positive terminal of the battery. Increase the applied voltage in small incremental steps and record corresponding values of current. Plot the graph for reverse voltage and reverse current. Observations Results the graph shows the IV characteristic curve of PN junction diode in forward bias and reverse bias. The value of threshold or knee voltage for the given diode VTH is equal to The value of reverse saturation current for the given diode ISAT is equal to Draw the characteristic curve of a Zener diode and to determine its reverse breakdown voltage. Aim to draw the characteristic curve of a Zener diode and to determine its reverse breakdown voltage. Materials required 1 PN junction Zener diode, power supply with potential divider 0 to 15 volt, high resistance rheostat, resistance of 125 ohm, microammeter 0 to 100 mu A volt meter of 0 to 15 volt and connecting wires. Procedure Zener diode is a special purpose semiconductor diode named after its inventor C. Zener. It is designed to operate under reverse bias in the breakdown region and used as a voltage regulator. Zener diode is fabricated by heavily doping both P and N sides of the junction. Due to this, depletion region formed is very thin that is less than 10 to the power minus 6 meter and the electric field of the junction is extremely high that is 5 into 10 to the power 6 V by M even for a small reverse bias voltage of about 5 volt. Setting up the circuit, draw a neat circuit diagram as shown here. Arrange various components as per the circuit diagram. Clean the connecting wires with sandpaper in order to remove insulation. 
no down the least count of micrometer and voltmeter check if the voltmeter and micrometer read zero with zero applied voltage or not carry out necessary corrections if required ensure that the zener diode is reverse biased connect its p section with negative terminal and n section with positive terminal of the battery ensure that the micrometer is connected in series with the zener diode with a protective resistance in series with it a tightening breakdown voltage switch on the power supply and insert the plug into key move the potential dividers or rheostat contact point to apply some reverse bias voltage that is vr the micrometer records zero reading because current is negligible small for low reverse voltage increase the voltage in small increment of 0.1 volt and record the value of reverse bias voltage vr and corresponding reverse current ir each step keep on increasing the reverse voltage till the current suddenly increases to the large value at this stage note down the value of reverse bias voltage this gives the reverse breakdown voltage of the zener diode note down your observation in tabular form observation result the value of reverse breakdown voltage of given zener diode that is obtained from the graph is Three point three. To study the characteristics of a common emitter NPN or PNP transistor, and to find out the values of current and voltage gain. Aim to study the characteristic of a common emitter NPN or PNP transistor, and to find out the value of current and voltage gain. Materials required: a NPN transistor. Two DC power supply, three volt and fifteen volt. A power source of thirty volt. Two high resistance rheostat. Volt meter of zero to three volt and zero to thirty volt. A microammeter of zero to hundred mu a. A milliammeter zero to twenty m a. Two one way keys, connecting wires, carbon resistor of hundred k ohm, and sandpaper. Procedure. Transistors are used in electronic circuits. Either the N type is sandwiched between two P type, or either side of it form P and P, or vice versa. Setting up the circuit. Check the transistor if it is N P N or P and P. Note down the least count and zero error of a meter and voltmeter. Clean the connecting wires with sandpaper to remove insulation from their ends. Make the connections either NPN or PNP based on the requirement of experiment. This should be as per the circuit diagram of transistor in common emitter configuration. In case of NPN transistor, the base should be given a positive voltage with reference to emitter. The collector should be given positive voltage with reference to emitter. Check the connections for their continuity. For input characteristic, adjust the value of collector emitter voltage, that is VCE, to fix the minimum value. Close both the keys K1 and K2 by inserting the plugs. Vary the base emitter voltage, that is VBE. In incremental steps of 0.1 volt, with the help of a rheostat or H1. For each value of VBE, note down the corresponding value of base current, that is IB. The base current continues to be zero till the voltage is increased up to a certain value. 
This value is VBE is equal to 0.7 volt for SA transistor and VBE is equal to 0.3 volt for GE transistor. After this value, the base current gradually increases and then it rapidly increases till it is nearly 95% of maximum range of micro-ohmmeter. For output characteristic, keep collector emitter voltage VCE is equal to 0 volt. Adjust the base emitter voltage that is VBE to make base current IB is equal to 10 mu A and keep it fixed. This is done by sliding the contact of rheostat RH1. After this, know the value of collector current IC. Now, increase the value of VCE in small increment and note down the corresponding value of collector current IC. It is observed that the value of IC increases rapidly during the initial stage and then it increases slowly to almost a constant value. For transfer characteristic, with the help of rheostat RH2, adjust the value of collector emitter voltage that is VCE and fix it to the small value. Gradually move the slider contact of rheostat RH1 and observe the increase in value of base current IB and corresponding value of collector current IC. Increase the value of base current IB in small increments and note down the corresponding value of collector current IC. Observations Result for the given transistor in a common emitter configuration. Input resistance is at VCE is equal to. Output resistance is at VBE is equal to. Current gain beta is equal to. And voltage gain AB is.